OK, here's Google Earth and we have a side panel on the left which switches on and off with this button here. And the reason we want it is we can search for places like Machu Picchu. Now, when I'm looking for places, I'm looking for all kinds of clues. Let me just close the search window and this will give all the places that I've got already. To add pins, you go up to here and you add place mark by clicking on the button. That gives you this properties panel where you can name the place. And while that properties panel is up, the pin flashes with a blue square and crosshairs, meaning it can be moved. So you drop that pin on a location that you know and say OK. Now in the panel here you can see that place name so you can right click and see the properties although that's off screen for you it's just the bottom of that menu and you can do things to edit it. You can then move it again if you want. When you close that you can no longer move that thing unless you right click it and get its properties. And as long as that panel's up you can move it around. So we've put in a place name and it happens to have gone into a temporary places folder. Let's put in another one. So we've got a pair. I'll just call it number two for simplicity. There's a second place gone in. And you can see I've got two places. Now somewhere around about here, click anywhere on the screen on the right hand side maybe and go add folder. And then we'll call this places to email or download so there's our folder and now what we'll do is we'll click on place name and drag it into that folder click on place two and drag it into that folder so there's two places within that folder and now what we want to do is export that from Google Earth so we right click and we go save place as and it brings up your normal file menu and you can shove it anywhere like on your desktop or something like that and it will save as a KMZ file and you can then email it to somebody so we'll save that onto my desktop um, and that is it ready to be emailed as far as I'm concerned and then the other person can open that up with a filer and you can open uh, desktop uh, places there and although we've already got it do we want to reload it yes no whatever but I can load that and then that would give me the place names and it would be reliable and I would know where I was going with that it certainly saves looking for places if I take some altitude and go places would I get one bus station um, roads it may be taking a little while to res, but in that neck of the weeds, there's not a lot. And borders and labels, I may get the odd thing. I'm now getting nearby villages and clusters of things. After that, I'm starting to look at photographs. And the photos sometimes make a trail like these ones do, because obviously people are following some route here up that valley. Um, sometimes they're untitled, um, sometimes they don't give much away, or they're in the wrong place. So there we go, that's adding pins and putting them in a folder and then save that folder to save places as a KMZ file and then that can be emailed or even downloaded from your website, which might be a nice feature actually.